What's up everyone? Thanks for joining us again. We got some new spacers, so this is a quick footage of how we installed them. The spacers we had on before was 1.5 inch and now we're switching to 2 inches. Just quickly showing you the real badge of honor, all the scratches from our off-roading trips. Here he's sanding to make sure the surface is completely flat to attach the spacers. And what's the reason? What's the reason you're switching to two inch? Because we're touching here. Yes. Yeah, so when we switched to 37 inch tires, the tires started touching the lower control arm. For that reason, we're switching to two inch spacer. And here's the new spacer. A little more sanding to make sure it fits perfectly. There you go. And using the Loctite glue so it stays nice and tight. This is him trying to figure out the best way for the spacer to not keep spinning while he uses a torque wrench. Now let's see if this works. Oh, wow. 
Nope. Fail. Option number two, crawbar. Now let's see if this works. Why the other one didn't work? Because I lift the car. So I can see. Yay, it worked! The crawler to the rescue! Marking the one that's already done. And it is recommended you retorque after the first 500 miles. So now we really need to change the fender. Yeah. Okay, one done, three more to go. And obviously it's pretty much the same process so we're not gonna show it all. And just for your reference, here's the comparison between the old one and the new one. Thanks for watching this brief video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We have our dream off-roading trip coming up, so stay tuned for that footage. See you on the next trail.